Hey everybody, kind of a silly video idea I'm bringing you today, but I thought, hey, it might just be helpful if no one else, helpful for me, because I'll be ridding some things out of my purse. I have been toting around way too many lip products, and I would encourage all y'all to look in your purses and see what's exactly hiding in there, because I used to be really good about only pretty much taking the product I was using for the day, the lip product I was using for the day with me in my purse, and then at the end of the day, I would take it out and put it back you know, with my makeup and everything was hunky-dory. I only had like one, maybe two products in my purse at a time. And lip products are really the main thing I would take with me to touch up anyway. I do keep a compact in my purse, but really lip products are the extent of the touching up that I might do on the go. I know in the past I had taken a lot of makeup with me, like years and years ago, and I realized like I'm just not gonna touch up my eyeliner. Even if it does look faded, I'm just not gonna take the time on the go to touch up my eyeliner or redo eyeshadow and stuff like that. You know, I oh, I will take some lash glue if I need it. That is something that also lives in my bag. But I have still been carrying my nice um, Turin bag. I think that was the name of it that I got for Christmas. And it still looks like brand new, even though I take it absolutely everywhere. It's a great size for taking any amount of toys or books for Belle that I wanna carry with me, but not looking like I'm carrying a massive tote or even a diaper bag. And then of course it holds all my stuff in there too, a wall wallet, my phone, anything else I might want to take. I could do a what's in my bag if anyone's interested and like the little go-to things that I usually have on hand for me and for Belle. But always in the bag is this little thing, which is a newish edition. It's called the Mini Pochette. And I thought this would be great to have um, my keys in here. And I could also put my phone in here. And if I just want to take, you know, not, not take my whole purse in somewhere, I can have a few essentials like my cards, uh, my phone, my keys, a lipstick, you know, something like that. And I can just grab it and go. And it is so functional in that way. And it really holds a surprising amount. And I just, I love the quality. I love this red lining that's in there too. But here's the issue. I have loaded this down, completely loaded it down with lip products to where I probably couldn't fit anything else in there. <laughs> like we just need to weed these things out. So I've got this thing full of lip products and two more that I found in the side pocket of my bag. So I thought I would just go through and show you what lip products are living in here, um, what I think about them, maybe some mini reviews. So first thing, this was just kind of lurking in the purse. And this is in the shade Lust for Blush. It's one of those matte, one of those wonderful matte Maybelline lipsticks. Don't you love these? If you have them, oh, I, there are several that I think are just amazing. The Daringly Nude, Touch of Spice, and then this would be another like major front runner from that line. It's a beautiful pink, um, kind of a cool pink. I, I do love that line of lipsticks. They're so opaque and they're creamy. They don't um, have a big like dry down uncomfortableness to them. So that's awesome. Still doesn't need to be living in my bag, but it's awesome. Um, another thing. Oh, this was what I got from my late night Mac haul that I mentioned in another video when I couldn't sleep and saw they had free overnight shipping. Um, this is the Huggable Lip Color in Bear Hug. I don't really hear anybody talking about these too much, I don't think, but they are like kind of a lip balm, sort of a tinted lip balm type thing is what it makes me think of. And this is a light, like corally pink color. Very shiny, super comfortable. So yeah, if I do want to take something to slap on on the go, I mean, I've definitely reached for this many times when I've forgotten to throw something in my purse. And there is a swatch of the Lust for Blush, by the way, beside that. It always, it's a little bit darker, I think, sometimes swatched out and put on the lips than it looks in the tube. Okay, another thing that I decided to actually wear today, this is from Clay Clarins, and I've got several different Clarins things that I'm testing out right now, and this is the um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in 08, I think is the shade, and I'm wearing it with my um, Spice Lip Liner, Perfect Spice Lip Liner from Too Faced. Really pretty shade. It's very sheer. It's kind of like a sheer berry. And I really love how it's like that spongy applicator, but you squeeze it and the product comes through like multiple little holes there and you get a really nice even application. But there's a look at that. It's very shiny, but it still has an element of sheerness to it. If I wear it over a lip liner, like I feel like it looks like a little bit more is going on on my lips and my lips do look a little bit more perfected. But just alone, I mean, if you like sheer lip colors, it's nice. 
nice, but I would almost like a little more color coming out of that. Also coming out of this bag, I've got this Makeup Forever. This is one of the Artist Plexi Glosses in number 204. Uh, this is a gorgeous shade. Love this color. Really creamy, rosy shade. Absolutely, I think works for just about any outfit, any look that I might do. See how it's got a lot more warmth than that berry shade beside it. Love the shine and the staying power. The applicator is just genius with these two. I've talked about this before, but it's like a flat little spatula and it just really takes the product right out to the outer edge of your lip and you really get a nicely defined edge with a lip gloss. So that's very cool. Oh, this Shea Moisture. This is the Shea Moisture like jumbo lipstick pencil in the shade Sarah. Um, I remember reviewing this in my big Shea Moisture video. And I kind of think that the jumbo sticks are a similar formula to the actual lipsticks, which I love. I think they're so comfortable, so moisturizing, really pigmented. And this is kind of an interesting, like, hot pink, but it has the slightest like bluish reflective quality. So definitely a little pop here going on from all of these little bit more natural everyday type shades. I've got another Clarins lip product in here. Um, real fancy looking gold lipstick. It says Rouge Eclay. Is that how you say that? Mm, I don't know. 26 Rose Praline is what it says. And here's your kind of soft, warm pink. It's very pigmented, even though it feels lightweight and shiny. Um, I really like this color. I've got several other colors that I'm excited to try, but I feel like so many people would enjoy that, like, kind of natural, warm, peachy pink. These kind of remind me of wearing a Revlon lip butter, though, because those, I feel like, always gave really full color, but they were shiny and they were kind of marketed as a non-lipstick lipstick, you know? So I, I like that. Oh, speaking of that same idea, I've got this. This is the one that from the beginning was just gonna be the thing that lived in my bag because I love this shade. It's so light. It's definitely a no mirror required type lip product. And this was the only one that was like invited to stay in this bag, okay? Everything else just kind of crept in. Oh, there's one gloss that I also invited to stay in there, but all this other stuff is just kind of riffraff that just found its way in. Just kidding, I like you. I just don't need to take you everywhere. Um, this is the Almay Smart Shade Butter Kiss Lipstick in the shade Nude Light. Love this stuff. This is so, so like my favorite on the go lip product. You'll see when I swatch it out, it's like, it's got a little bit of a goldeniness to it. It's definitely peachy. It it just looks really radiant on the lips. A little bit of my natural lip color shows through and it just looks so pretty, super comfortable. You don't need to be in perfect lighting or have a mirror even to put this on. So I love that. And plus it feels really, really moisturizing. And then the other thing that I was, you know, kind of keeping in there is a nude gloss that I love. See, I think nude, you know, regardless of what my cheek or my eye look might be for the day. This gloss will always look good, and it is my Nude Ballet L'Oreal Extraordinaire Lip Gloss. This is just, this is the perfect nude gloss. I've said it before. I'm saying it again. I know you people out there are going to want a good nude lip gloss, and there it is. Ooh, it's so good. I love it. So you could layer that on top of this for a little extra shine or wear it alone. It's great alone as well or on top of your favorite nude lip liner. Awesome. And now all I have in here are my keys and a little bit of change and that's it. So I think I am going to put these two puppies back in the Nude Ballet and the Alme Nude Light just because, you know, if I am out somewhere and I need something to touch up with, I think those are ideal. I could totally once again fit my phone in here, some cash, some cards or whatever it might be. So yay, back in action. But some of my favorite other things that I pulled from the bag, love, like I said, certain shades of this plexiglass. This was 204 um, from Makeup Forever. Those are awesome. The Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks are great. Shea Moisture Jumbo Lip Pencils. This is the only jumbo lip pencil I've tried, but I love this and the lipsticks from this line are great as well. The Clarins stuff I've been trying, like I said, I got some more shades to experiment with that may, you know, make me feel like, oh my gosh, this particular shade is a total must-have, but I have a sense that I'm going to come up with some lower-cost things that work 
kind of just as well. We'll see though. These are pretty low maintenance, nice quality. They feel nice on the lips. I just need to do a little more investigating. So if you guys are watching this and you're kind of inspired and you're thinking, hmm, I may be hoarding a whole lot of product in my purse as well, um, show me what's in there. Like uh, take an Instagram picture, tag me in it, or even do a YouTube video and send me the link because I think this is just how real life happens. You know, time gets away from us and before we know it, we've got how many things were actually in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lip products randomly in our bags. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.